We learned today Paul Sikulski Jr. is the man who died in Thursday's house fire on Scranton's west side. But thanks to the heroics of one man, the fire did not also take the life of Sikulski's mother in law. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live tonight at the scene. Cody. Mark, good evening. Sikelski was 48 years old. Tonight, we are learning more about a delivery driver who ran inside the house to save a woman's life. Well, we all looked outside and we seen the flames coming out the front. And I heard people yelling, you know, there's people still in the house. Ricardo Montillo works for Dunmore Appliance and was making a delivery across Amherst Street. He took swift action to save an elderly woman and her dog inside this multifamily home. So I ran around the side of the house towards the back. I uh, went up the stairs and I opened up the, the resident's home and she was in the kitchen area. Montillo says the woman did not know flames were intensifying beneath in her daughter and son-in-law's section of the home. A total of three or four minutes. I mean, it, it had to go quick. Flames were too intense on the first floor to try and rescue 48-year-old Paul Sikelski Jr., who died in the fire. City of Scranton's fire marshal was back on scene Friday to continue investigating a cause after the home was torn down. It's the first time I saw like the house, well, the remains of the house up in person. And I just wanted to see just like the overall effect it had on like the neighborhood here. Sean Fanning says this part of Scranton is tight knit and everyone knows one another. It's certainly sad for not only the family but this whole community neighborhood. I mean, these people knew each other. They interacted on a daily basis. Like it's it's just sad in general for everyone around here. Yeah. Eyewitness News spoke with Sikelski's brother Joe, who said Paul loved to use his boat to go fishing and ride his Harley Davidson. Joe is thankful for Montio's bravery. We got there just in time that, you know what I mean? It wasn't as hot, but it, it was getting there any, any longer because I've never seen a house ever blaze up that fast in my life. As you can see here back on scene, neighbors have started to place flowers and balloons in memory of Sikhelski. As you can see behind me, the scene is quiet tonight. Amherst Street is back open. UGI spent most of the day on scene doing their own investigation and repair. The cause of the fire is undetermined at this point, but is still under investigation. For now, we're live in Scranton. Cody Butler, 2822 Eyewitness News. Mark. Heartache in that neighborhood for sure. Thanks, Cody.